So what I thought we'd do tonight is take a picture of the most beautiful sight in the night sky. And we're going to turn this raw camera feed into a high resolution image. So this is Saturn and when we see it floating in the telescope with its beautiful ring system with its distant moons it has such a sense of wonder and awe. So the problem is when we're doing high resolution planetary imaging is that when the light from the planet comes into the Earth's atmosphere all the air currents the turbulence inside the Earth's atmosphere that all disrupts and distorts that image. It's like looking through a heat haze or like it's looking through a, through a swimming pool. So what we're going to do is use a high-speed camera. We're going to record video imagery at tens of frames a second. So after a few minutes, we've got thousands of video frames. And we're then going to use software. We're going to use freeware. We're going to process those images. We're going to reject the ones that have been blurred by the atmosphere and then bring out all the sharp, fine details. So this is my setup in the Refreshing Views Observatory and I love having an observatory. And this is my second hand Celestron C11. I've had this for years and it's absolutely awesome. It's great for the moon and planets. It's got lots of lovely focal length. And of course you can then fit a focal reducer on it. And it's no slouch for deep sky observing. So for the planets, I actually use a times two Barlow. So I'm now shooting at 5.6 meters focal length. That gives me loads of really great image scale for the planets. And the other accessories I thoroughly recommend are an atmospheric dispersion corrector. That reduces that red blue fringing we get when looking at the bright planets. And the second thing is having a motorized focus, having vibration free focusing is such a pleasure. Just get you back on the screen. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. So I've got Saturn centered. What I've done, I've also just checked the focus with the motorized focus. So as you can see there, you've got these two levers and they rotate the prisms inside the housing. And by doing that, they rotate together and that cancels the fact out the prismatic effects of the Earth's atmosphere. Cool, I'm happy with that. So if you've moved the ADC, that means you've also got to recheck the focus. And a four minute capture of four minutes because Saturn rotates relatively slowly we can do a four minute capture without the Saturn's own rotation blurring out the image. And as you can see from the scope, or I don't know if you can see from the scope, we're pretty much on the meridian, perhaps just a little bit past. That's always the best time to catch the planets, it's when they're nice and high. So while we're just capturing our data, I think I owe you all an apology. I've been so busy with work, we've actually won two new contracts, the company I'm working for, the company I support, have won two new contracts to develop radio systems for, for the government. And we've just finished an incredibly busy period of acceptance testing. So it's going to be quite exciting. We've got two radio systems about to go into service, uh, with, the, with one with the Army and one with the Navy. So quite exciting times, but as you can imagine, that's a fairly intense period of testing. Um, and I'm so grateful and I really do mean this that you know the channel's still growing that I get lovely comments uh, on, on Instagram or Facebook and on YouTube so thank you for all your kind support and your kind words it really is gratefully appreciated uh, and we're due to finish our testing later this month it's November uh, so and I'll be free to start doing some more videos and bring you more views of the night sky and so I have been doing lots of observing I've been doing lots of live stacking my friend Lawrence showed me how to do that in one of my earlier videos so we've done deep dives into the Andromeda galaxy. I've done time lapses of Jupiter. I've explored the lunar surface. You know, I've been photographing and imaging ARP galaxies, you know, distorted galaxies. So I've got so much stuff to bring you. And uh, once my feet are now touching the ground, I'm really excited to start bringing you more videos of the night sky and the pleasure and the joy we have being out under the stars. I say it's so glorious to be out under the night sky. The other thing I forgot to mention as well, I was actually interviewed 
by the Actual Astronomy podcast. That's Chris and Shane, they're based out in Canada. So a lovely time chatting with them about live stacking, some of the views I've had. Uh, and I thoroughly enjoy the way they actually enjoy being out under the night sky. They enjoy observing and speaking to other amateur astronomers, other enthusiasts from around the world. So do check out the Actual Astronomy podcast. So good morning and it is a lovely beautiful morning here at the Refreshing Views Observatory. Uh, what I'm going to do today is show you the Saturn video, Saturn pictures that we captured last night. We'll just quickly run through the processing of them. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful morning today, lovely clear skies. Um, still quite fresh, I can certainly feel that warmth of summer has now long gone. But yeah, we've got a cup of tea, we are good to go. So what we're going to do is use our free software to automatically process all of those video files that we captured when we were outside in the observatory looking at Saturn. The first program we're going to use is called AutoStacker. And what AutoStacker does, it finds the sharpest frame in the video file, it rejects all the ones that have been blurred and we can then stack the good ones, we'll stack the good ones that we want to keep. We're then going to pass that stacked file into Registax and Registax then uses the linked wavelets, uses these sharpening tools, and that brings out all these fine details, all these sharpened details as well. So the first thing I do is do my RGB balance, auto balance that, and that gives it a more natural color look. Use linked wavelets, and basically, I move that slider all the way up, I then adjust in my sharpening and denoise to, to taste. There we go, and that seems to me, just to my eye, just by looking at it on the monitor, that seems to be a nice compromise between getting a sharp image and not over-processing it and making sure we've reduced the noise. Right, so what we're gonna do then, is we're gonna do each one so we're gonna save image. Uh, we're then going to put that into WinDupos, and what WinDupos does is it derotates that planetary rotation and then we can stack them again program celestial body Saturn recording image measurement open our image go into our linked wavelets right so Saturn's automatically lined up so what we're going to do is we're going to make it we're going to get that white circle if we go to adjustments we're going to get that white circle over Saturn so page up page down makes it larger and smaller and N and P make it rotate so let's get that round there and then up and down the arrows on Jupiter you can just press f11 it's so annoying that it doesn't work for all the planets you'll do this by eye whoops wrong way so i'm pressing p there to rotate it we'll make it a bit bigger let's get that lined up a bit bigger again i think get that down a little bit of that's not looking too bad and I'm going to say image uh, save to so make a new folder called win boss open and save and I'm literally going to do that now with all my images I'm going to get tools, derotation of images. So what I, I like to do is just grab them all, open those all up, and this big long list comes in. Let's hit compile the image. So we get all this beautiful details, all these beautiful data points. And it's all there in the video files, it's all there in the data. But by using the freeware, we can then bring out all these features in our photographs. So feel free to use anything I've shown you in this video. Feel free to use those for your setup, for your telescope. Uh, I'll do a deep dive into this, show you this in a bit more detail in a later video. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see, bring you more videos as we explore the night sky.